Hello, my name is Bernard Caymans. I'm an infectious diseases trained physician and currently am the medical director for infection prevention for the Mount Sinai Health System. My task today is to inform you about the new updated booster that was recently approved by the FDA and also recommended by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices of the CDC. The older version of the vaccine was targeting the original version of SARS-CoV-2 or the virus that caused COVID-19. The reason why a new bivalent booster, or as we would probably refer to as updated booster was created was because the original SARS-CoV-2 has now mutated several times and we are now at the Omicron variant. And within the Omicron variant, there is a subvariant which is still different from the previous uh, subvariants of Omicron known as the BA5. That is currently the predominant subvariant that's circulating. And so these, this new updated booster was created then to specifically address the current circulating subvariant. The current uh, bivalent or updated booster is pretty much the same as the old vaccine. And, uh, the only difference is that the spike protein, which is then the makeup, the genetic makeup of the vaccine has an addition that is based on the spike protein of BA5. It also still has the spike protein of the original virus that uh, first came to the US. Uh, so there's really not much difference. What the expected uh, side effects, potential side effects from this fact, uh, booster would be very similar. And you probably would not notice it being different from any of the previous vaccine doses or boosters you've received. As far as efficacy is concerned, um, there are currently only data on a booster vaccine based on BA1, which is a rel relative uh, potentially of a B of BA5. Anyone who is 12 years and older is eligible and is recommended to take the up updated booster. Now, uh, it depends on the brand, but Moderna is only approved for 18 years or older. And so if you are in between 12 years and 17 years of age, the only updated booster that is recommended is the Pfizer-BioNTech uh, booster. Anyone who is younger than 12 are not recommended to re receive the uh, updated booster as of yet. The updated booster will be available at any of the usual locations that people have availed of the COVID-19 vaccine, as well as their booster doses. So the best way to do it is probably to look at at vaccinefinder.org or even uh, the website for your healthcare institution or even your local pharmacy. There is a change in the schedule with this new updated uh, booster. Uh, in the past, you wouldn't be eligible for a booster at least four months or five months after your primary series. In this situation, if you were just starting your primary series now, you would then have to have two doses of the primary series, followed by uh, two months of a waiting period before you can avail of the updated booster. So the updated booster is actually um, is recommended at least earlier after a primary series than the previously recommended booster. The updated booster is recommended even for those who have been infected with a previous variant or subvariant of SARS-CoV-2. It is the updated version, that is because it targets the current circulating subvariant of SARS-CoV-2, the BA5. If you were previously infected or recently infected within the last 90 days, it is reasonable to wait until 90 days since your symptom onset. But as the CDC says, 
it is also safe to get it as soon as you're no longer contagious from your current infection. Why is it important to get booster shots, especially since people still seem to be able to get COVID despite being vaccinated? That is actually a very good question. The reason why it's important to get this updated booster is that it's been updated to actually coincide with the current circulating subvariant BA5. So based on this, it would then mean that you're more likely to be protected against being infected uh, with COVID if you were to then uh, be up to date on your booster, meaning uh, taking a booster that's targeting the circulating uh, subvariant means that you're more likely to be protected from being infected, although it's not 100% guaranteed. 